Hello and welcome to 7 Super Series. I'm Ben from the Bono Podcast and this is Game 9. Seven Super Series is our escalation league for the best way to play Blood Bowl, Blood Bowl Sevens. Sevens is a fast play variant with a smaller pitch, smaller teams, shorter halves, but bigger gameplay. We've got five teams facing off against each other across 10 weeks, then we'll take the top four teams and through a series of knockout playoff games, determine the Seven Super Series 3 champion. This is an escalation league, so no permanent injuries, and before each game a team plays, they will receive a single skill depending on their team tier. This week on 7 Super Series, we are going to see the top two teams face off against each other in the last round of the regular season. We've got the Golden Skulls, our corn team, facing Undercity Warpfires, our Underworld team. Now, I am going to be running Underworld mutated skaven for the win and ian triple pow triplo is going to be returning to the show to pilot the golden skulls once again ian's developed a bit of an affinity for the corn team so this should be basically a pretty exciting matchup we've got ian running what has i think become his favorite team in sevens against me running what may have become my favorite team in sevens so a pretty fun matchup this week let's meet the coaches okay trips thanks ever so much for coming back on and running corn which has kind of become your team i'm uh, oh, happy to uh, run a corn. <laughs> corn team they're good for the end of the day frenzy and they are pretty geared up now so let's start with uh, the corn roster So we've got uh, the three Bloodseekers uh, with all now with block. All with block. So um, I'm looking forward to rolling dice for them tonight. Horrific. And then we've got the good old Corncore with the leader caddy. Yes. You must try and get a leader caddy in somewhere at this stage of the league. And then we've got the lineman, but we've got one with guard. Yeah, exactly. So that guard piece to keep your strength up uh yeah the roster is really cooking now yeah we're definitely in the stage where uh, winning by pitch clearance is part of the rules and over on the underworld side we don't have a lot of players to pitch clear now we do have a block roger which is pretty good against most teams this one with your guard piece might be a bit of a struggle however we've got a mini hack phlegm in a, we've got a block two heads gutter runner we've got an anti-dodge piece which is going to do absolutely nothing in this match which is the tackle blitzer we've got three little goblins who are going to be i think probably heavily targeted by multiple die multiple block block pieces and we've got the best thrower in the game who comes with leader and most importantly of all we've got the desperate measure which might be a wizard this time there's some good ones yeah, definitely is about i reckon it's about a third of them are really good a third yeah. of them are like Rrr, and then a third are like very situational there's a couple of really situational ones we've had the foul one on here which wasn't brilliant and we've had the wizard which i forgot about so mm. we're gonna have to focus on uh, not forgetting the desperate measure when it comes into play so i've got seven guys who are mostly low strength against eight guys who are high strength with block. How are you feeling about the matchup, Trips? I'm feeling good as long as we don't have to do anything involving picking up the ball. Yeah, this um, this is going to be a classic case of I need to score more than you can murder. And that is going to be quite a challenge. I've still got the Roger, still and the your Roger. guys are going to be frenzying into potentially bad situations. Yeah, I'm so... pretty sure we'll be both worrying about where players are going with the frenzying as they chase each other off to the sideline. This guy doesn't care where he's going. Two heads on Adj 2+, plus, Adj 1+, plus with a re-roll. He's going to be good. Hate a gutter on a normal day, but yeah. two-headed block gutter. Uh, <laughs> Watch I... him go out turn two of this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Desperately hoping he rolls two ones on his first touch. I think it's very likely. Anyway, I'm good to go. Are you all set? All good. Let's get to the pitch. Okay, so let's roll for weather trips. Got a total of a three. three. So that is going to be weather, and that weather is going to be 
So very sunny. We're going to have to keep track of this one, Trips. A glorious day, but this clear skies and bright sunlight interfere with the passing game. Apply a minus one modifier every time a player tests against their passing ability. That's going to affect my thrower, I think. I think probably I'll be able to remember that. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to be doing it. <laughs> Probably more than your guys. Uh, okay, so weather is done. Let's roll for the kick. One and a seven Super Series logo for the corn team. Corn. Uh, in that case, I will kick to you. Kick to me. Okay, right. So we're going to be receiving, but most importantly, of all, we've got desperate measure, and it is a five. Which is five set piece. Ah, so in preparation for the game, the team has been practicing some set play pieces. You may play this desperate measure when activating a player to perform a pass action. The pass is automatically accurate, and unless the pass is intercepted, the ball is automatically caught. Okay, Ooh. so it's going to be sunny, but at some point, I can just automatically pass with anybody, and there's no range limit on it. No, so that is literally get a guy in the end zone, <laughs> score a touchdown. Okay, Ooh. that's going to be very helpful. Um, and I'm receiving? You're receiving, so All I right. should set up. Let's score a quick touchdown. Okay, the corn team are set to kick up. We've got the underworld back here to receive the ball. Trips, where would you like the ball? Which bit? Kick in front of the useless tackle skill. <laughs> he is sadly not going to be that prevalent this game okay so for the kick is five squares to eight that one two three four and off is going to be a touchback but kick off first eight. is an eight which is weather now so Ooh. two more dice get rid of the sunny and you do yeah. now that would normally get the ball to scatter three more times but as it is off and it is a touchback um I think we might try something unusual and giving the ball to the gutter runner and uh, maybe try and save the desperate measure for later in the game. And that will be over to me. Okay, we're going to start off. Do I actually... I don't think there's any way I can try for any proper blitzes. You've got a horrible guard piece there, and that would be go for it. So I think what we'll do is we will blitz with the ogre. I will declare the leader as the target, and he's good with it. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just try and gum up some players. Then we're going to farm this goblin off to his death. One, two, three, four, five, six to there. We'll bring this goblin up. One, two, three, four, five, and then six to there and on this side here we'll bring up another goblin one two three four five six into there i feel like goblins return one dinner <laughs> <laughs> kind of farming them away a little bit we'll bring the gutter up to here i think and then we'll bring the throw up one two three four five six seven again kind of keeping oh i don't want to do that well one two three four five six and then we're going to put him there for seven although i think actually we'll readdress and put him there there's many ways for you to get a good block on him i think but I don't know if there's any way to stop that. At least you're going to have his high agility and his skills to compete with. So that'll do it for me for turn one. Turn one for corn. I shall pick up my block dice. Here I'm ready come. Desper, rolling them a lot. Here come the skulls. So we shall start with the block here. Okay. That is strength four, four five, five against strength two. Ooh. No supports there. So that's actually going to be three die block with a couple of powers, although you've got a power to block to yeah. choose from. There, and of course, we'll follow. Have to follow up there with Frenzy. Two dice on the armor is a four. He's all right. 
Put him in your lock. Here. Okay, so this guy. He's cancelled out. You yeah. do get Mr. Guard over this side, and you've got an assist there anyway, so that's strength six against two. So the first block is three dice. Push, push, skull. Now, following up, I do get an assist, yep. but you get two, so you're still... No, actually, you only get one I assist. Only get one there. Now, yeah. So now it's strength five against strength three, just two dice. Another push, or both down. I'll take the both down, because I've got a block. Tough as my goblins are, they don't have block. Uh, six is okay, no mighty blow here. Shall block the Rakt Ogre okay. with two assists. Yeah, Brugger. Two dice against him, powers him down. Okay. He does have block, but nothing stops the open power. Follow up. Roll high. No. Armor is fine. Had to kind of make you roll those dice. We will then block the goblin here. Okay, so strength. Three, and he's tagged, so it's just strength three on two. So two die block is a dodge star and a push. So we're into chain pushing here. Very much so. So pushing from a diagonal, it's him, him, or him. Strength enough won't be my guy. <laughs> but we will push here. Yeah. Follow up. Follow up. Now, in this situation, we've got no assists again, so... Uh, well, yeah. yeah. But it's not, not enough not, to not make enough. a difference. Double dodge stars there for the block dice. I may not have block, but these guys do have dodge. Yeah. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. And we'll blitz here. One, and we're blitzing the ball carrier. Uh, blitzing the thrower. Blitzing the thrower, okay. One, two, three, four. Into there. Strength four with guard. Two dice is just two pushes, but that is going to be a follow up. And he's still blitzing at strength four and still has the guard support. So another two dice and There's gets him power. with the pow. He doesn't. Oh, he doesn't have frenzy. frenzy. No, so we didn't get the second block. There's a wasted explosion there. Uh, but that lines them up quite nicely. That's everybody gone. End of turn. All right. I don't think we have a huge amount of choices here. Um, as much as I want to blitz with the roger, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is something reckless. Not going to take any dodges, but we do need to play good blood ball. So let's stand up both of these guys. Move Mr. Tackle, who's in no tackle zones. One, two, three, four, five. Put him there on the edge of the pitch against Corn, which may seem counterintuitive. But what that does is that gives me a two die block here from Mr. Leader against the guard man. And it's a pow star. So we'll Ooh. drop you to there. I'm not going to follow up because that would get in my own way, but I am going to bust your armor open with a three, which is also not going to happen. Okay, now, as much as I want to blitz with the Roger, oh, should I blitz with the Roger? Do we go for the touchdown or blitz with the Roger? Good play would mean go for the, the score. So we're going to try and go for the score. We won't uh, do a Milton. What we will do is declare a blitz with the rogue on this gentleman up here. Now, I'm not actually going to blitz. What I am going to do is use this to two plus stand up. And I will not take the block. Then we'll go for some dodgy shenanigans here where he should have enough range to get into the end zone. Two heads. We're going to move to there on what would normally be a three plus, but plus one to dodging with two heads is a success so one and then two to there into the open is a two 
and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for the touchdown. Okay, the Underworld team are set up for the kick and we're not going to do anything too fancy with the ball. We're just going to drop it in front of your line there. It's all right, I grabbed another one, finally. Right, one square to four. Straight into the gap, that's not bad. Um, blitz would be fun, but not that fun. It is a seven, which is brilliant coaching. So we both roll the dice strips. And we get a touchdown. Let me mark that on the screen. There we go. So we've got two touchdowns in sevens. This is outrageous. Okay, the ball is going to bounce eight woods, which drops it there. And then it's over to you. Okay, so turn what, two now. Turn two, yes. For the corn dogs. Okay, not too exciting. Because we do have to pick the ball up. Reliability with the ball is not a corner strength. It's not bad. You've got a lot of strength. You've got a lot of edge three plus, and you do have a leader reroll. That's quite a cage, though. That's the random, in case it goes horribly wrong, person. That is an excellent place for that guard guy to go. And then we try to pick the ball up. All we're going to do is roll. It's a two. Lead a reroll, or are you going to let it go? Um, 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 I'm going to let it go because I've got three people around the ball. Yes. And I will need that one. It's a thing too bad. It's a one. Ooh. Goes on to your boy. That's why you have him there. So four plus pick up. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Basically, sure hands. <laughs> I've played enough games with you in Stephen to know my ball carrier is not safe. <laughs> the ball carrier is never safe. It's a myth. Right, Goblin. One, two, three, four, five, and then six. I'm just going to tag that guy there because, like I said, we are going to do some things in a moment. And they are going to require some die rolls, but I think putting the pressure on is the best way to kind of take the pressure off. Uh, we're going to go Goblin. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and then seven to there on a rush, which he gets. Okay, now we're going to bring this tackle up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm feeling saucy. Eight to there on a rush, which he gets, and then nine. Oh no, I don't dodge. Oh, <sighs> we'll use my free shiny reroll. Okay, and into a three. He's all right. Now we're going to bring up, uh, ooh, we need to bring up the goblin, who's probably a little bit far now. One, two, three, four, five. Oh dear. Six into there. You know what? We'll just line him up against everybody and let him, let him truly get destroyed. We better bring the thrower up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, going there seems reasonable, but could lead to a jolly good surfing. And we're going to rush him as well. Leader, do you need your reroll? He's all right. Okay, so massively overextended with the team. And now, watch me roll a one for the Roger. Who's going to blitz the ball carrier? Four gets away with it. This is going to be some dice as well. So one, two, three, four, five six into there and then two plus rush there's the one Ooh. and we're going to burn the leader reroll on a loan of four plus and it's not meant to be so the rerolls have all gone and sadly so has the roger a nine breaks his armor oh read play oh, oh, i saw the sick one got excited leads to a stun for the roger and i'm stunned as well Three for the corn dogs. Okay, we will start with the block on the goblin. Yeah. Okay, so four, strength four, four, five, six. So we're gonna start with a the block there, we're gonna go backwards. Okay, still strength four, five, six on this one. So 
just three dice. Two of them are skulls, one of them is a dodge star. Push it there. Follow. And three more dice. Do it all over again. And There's natural pow. A pow. So the rogue has got a friend at least. Armor's broken on a 10. And a stun as well. Ooh. Okay, so I'm then going to hand the ball off. Ah, okay. Still got your leader reroll? Yep. I don't trust corn doing dodging, <laughs> and you do actually have tackle there. <laughs> uh, that is a fail. Reroll. Re leader reroll gets it. Not a huge amount to stop him in the field there. It's just as good. Slightly overstretched. No, he will go there. Um, he's going to blitz the goblin. Blitzing the goblin in the backfield. Uh, strength three on strength two is two dice. And a push. He's going to lead you into a one die follow-up block because my leaders there both down no re-rolls they both go down after you trips seven is okay and so is a six turn four and the action's a little bit everywhere i've got two lands who are down so not going to do anything with them just now what i am going to do is take this apparently free and tempting block here with this goblin supporting against this naked man. Pow. I will drop him to there. And I will not follow up. I think I want him a little bit open. We'll take some armor though. And a five is no good. Set the ball pass up as the ball pops out. <laughs> Now I'm going to bring this goblin round. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm just going to put him there. That's fine. Now that might change things. One, two, three, six. No, won't take. We'll leave that goblin on the ground. No, need him to move. We'll move this goblin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chuck him in there. Now we're going to bring up the gutter runner. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> to there, use all of his squares of movement. And then I think we'll declare a blitz on the ball carrier, which is going to be fine. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven into there. And then, of course, we're going for the rush because Skaven aren't fast enough. Ooh. And the leader's down. And the armor is okay. But that is going to be my turn. Thanks. So we're going to start with the good blood bowl. So three, four, five. Not sure. Threatening goblins is good blood bowl, but I suppose it'll do. Three. Four. That's for entertainment. Again, threatening goblins. So we will start with. I'm going to go block here. Okay. So actually, strength five with this support now that the goblin in the back is tagged. So three of them die strips. Push, push, and sadly, how? Oh. So it is going to be dropping the goblin down a bit. And armor is fine on a six. Then going to block here. Okay, Mr. Guard, strength three, four with one assist, so just two dice. 
bush and a skull. Now it has to follow up with now two support strips, so yep. that's going to be three dice. Here's a pow. Just trying to delete these goblins, aren't you? Just a five. Oh, a five is all right. Yeah. So now uh, we want to move the ball carrier and end up with the players in the right place. So that these guys can move five. five. So one, two, three, four. That's the way we're going to go. One, two, three, four into there. Then we're going to blitz the gutter. So one. Okay, strength five, six on this guy. So four, five, six is three dice. Mm, push both down or push. Now we've both got block. So pushed over there. Now this guy, given the extra assist, is another three dice. How star with a dodge. He's all right. That does, however, free up the ball carrier. One, three, into there. And we shall set up the perfect column offence. Hand it over to you. Okay, we've got a couple of situations. Um, oh, okay. We are going to stand up this goblin, one, two, three. Four, five, six. Then we're going to move the rat ogre, who is appropriately fine with it. One, two, three, four, five, then six into there. And mark that guy, I guess. Now let me count this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Blitz. Well, blitzing and rushing is going really well for me so far. <laughs> so let's double down. Stand up this goblin in the backfield to distract. Bring this guy to there on a move. So, two heads. It's a three. He's okay with the dodge. So one, two, three, four, five. I don't know. To there. Is fine. Now I'm going to have to stand up my thrower, which is bad because, well, look at it. And now we've got a blitz with the blitzer. Are you standing up with the blitzer? Not yet. Uh. He's going to save the day. <laughs> uh, right. Blitz from Mr. Tackle. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven into there, and it's going to be a rush for a two die blitz on the ball carrier. Oh, yeah, we get it this time. Okay, so two dice now because uh, they're all marked, yeah, they're and I've got an assist. Two dice, and it is a both down. I've got the block. There we go. So drops him down, and let's see if we can roll some armor. Uh, we roll some armour, just a halflings. That's no good. But the ball is out, and let's see where it goes from Mr. Leader. Onewards, onto the tackle, lad. Who... Only in two tackle zones. <laughs> so minus three. Oh, he gets it. That was not what I was expecting. Okay, this guy. <laughs> All right, okay. Now... The aforementioned game saving play here. A one, two, three. And if I stand him anywhere near the sidelines, he's going to just go straight off the pitch. Four to there on a dodge, which he promptly fails. Dodge re and oh, fails again. Fails into the re roll. Six on armor is okay. That was stressful. So the line of corn really want to hit the Skaven. And, uh, we're going to start with uh, we're going to start with a block on the thrower. With, I'm going to start with the block with the throw, where are we? No, here's fine. I'm going to go there. Okay, so strength four, no assists because they're all tackled up. So two dice here. Here's a power star. This guy does not have dodge. 
go down there. I'll follow. Oh, Such 10 gets the armor. And a 7 is a stun. So we've now lined up. Opportunity to hit the ball carrier. A several of them. So firstly, I'm going to tag the gutter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'm going to block here. I think that might be about seven blocked. Well, let's just have a look. Let's just do the maths here. This guy here. On a strength three blitzer, strength four, five, oh, six. six. On three is two dice. two dice. There we go. Don't have dodge though, so he goes down. Down, and he has to go. Have to, but he will go there. Okay, we'll come back to him. This guy follows up. Oh yeah. Armor ten. ten breaks the armor. This is where it starts going. Six stuns him. So he is down, and now let's see where the ball goes. It's a two, so it rolls into there, into the open. Okay prime position for a uh, edge four plus piece yeah. to take some dodges to get to the ball um so there's a reason why we haven't stood up my leader guy because he might be useful once we've cleared the gutter oh i don't like the sound of this so we're gonna blitz the gutter runner so one one into there into there strength four five against two is another three die frenzy block trips but i have got all of those skills Fine. And happily... sadly, that's going to be another follow-up three dice. And I've still got no skills. Send you off that way. You can dodge shenanigans in a minute. Gutter runner. Chilling on the side of the pitch there. Um, we will block the goblin back here. Yes, the free block. Oh, powers him down. Pow. Follow. Don't like the look of seven. that. It's okay. I saw the six. All well, that's left for you to do now, Trips, is take the free block on the Roger, really. <laughs> so stand him up for three. Yep. Four. Five. Okay, onto the ball. Three plus open field pickup. I can't see it. What is it? It is a. Oh, it's a three. He gets it. Three, four, five. And then. And I need to get away from the player. So seven. Go in for the rush there. Into there. He gets it on a three. Tempted to go one more into there as well. Okay. Rushing next to the gutter. He gets that yes. on a three as well. It's not just triple power, it's triple spots on the dice for trips today. And then I'm not going to do anything with him. I do not want the rat ogre coming back into play. So your turn six. All right, turn six. I've got a plan, but it is a little bit over committee. Uh, but I think we have to kind of try some of it. One, two, three for the goblin. Four, five, six into there. This goblin will now take a two die block two die. Yep. with support, support on this guy at the back. And... He dodge stars him down. You can go over there, away from goblins. And we'll follow up because why not? Um, let's roll pie. No, three. All the threes in this game. Okay, we've got a goblin down, but he's down up here, and I don't want to do anything about that guy right now. We are going to go for the Rat Ogre Blitz on the ball carrier here. Let's see if we can actually get this to be done. In the shot a little bit. Right. Is he angry about it? He is. But that just means he rolls armor against this goblin. Six. So he's going to be all right. It knocks him down, doesn't it? Now he's good to go. So one, two, three, four, five, six into there. Can't fail another rush, can we? Surely. Here we go. Rush for the blitz. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this blooming rat ogre needs to be a little bit faster. Armour 7 is okay. This is going to pass the turn over, and I think we might be saying goodbye to the gutter. Six. I feel like we have to be friendly to the gutter. So, 
three into there. And then we will take the block on the gutter with the block. So that's four versus two, five, six, seven. All the dice here for this three die. Push is what you're looking for, really. Push to there. He's going to get a jolly good surfing. Will follow triple one. skulls or triple both downs are the only thing that can save me. And none of them save the roger. He is gone from the pitch. And 2d6 will determine whether he's gone from the world. It's an 8. It's a KO. That's, that's okay. That's recoverable. So, a couple more glory blocks, or shall I prepare the score? I think we will... Well, you've only got one player standing, <laughs> so I will try and hit that player. So we'll bring in the guard there. We will blitz here. Wow, you're actually going for it. Okay. Uh, so five, five strength, four, five, three dice on the goblin. Skull, push, push. To there. Skull push pow. There's the pow. Does drop him down. Do with a nice big armor smash. And eight is going to get you there. And a six is just a stun. And then we will score. Go for the TD. Okay, half time. And obviously, the only thing anyone cares about is our friend, the gutter runner in the KO box. Um. Right, this seven super big series. Big roll. This is basically for the win. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it's another one, and he's not back just yet. Okie dokie. Uh, right. Underworld are set. Corn are set to receive. We're going to try a little bit of a short kick and see if we can't speed this along. Five to seven. Oh, <gasps> bye bye. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe not. Ooh. Maybe not. All right, kickoff is a nine, which is quick snap. Kickoff is yeah, quick snap. Quick snap. So D3 plus one open players on the receiving team trip. So this is D3 plus one of your guys. So two of your guys mm -hmm. get to move a single square immediately move one square in any direction hmm. Hmm. that's not great all right now the ball uh what are we looking for six seven eight would be a touchback anything else and it's off. There we go. So, the ball is yours, Trips. Who's getting it? The guy? Ah, oh, the guard guy in the middle. Right. We're now going to do the dodgy... No, we're not going to do the dodgy running. Go for the play. <laughs> it's big cage time. And it doesn't take much with a corn team like this. There we go. End of turn one. Okay, turn one for Underworld. We're going to go for a Roger Blitz on this guy immediately. See if we can't get PHT <laughs> on the ball. We've rolled another one. And this poor goblin is going to get knocked down. And six, uh, even with Mighty Blow, is fine. So, now the Blitz. One, two, three. Into there. Strength five on four. Block the block. Ooh, we get a pow. Ooh. I'll drop you to there, and we have to follow up because the rat ogre is... You know what? These are going away. <laughs> I'm quite happy with you. These are going away, and let's bust out a couple Do you of... Want the strawberry dice? Let's have the strawberry dice. And a nine. Mm. Without my... No, with Mighty Blow, because yep. these guys are armor 10. Yep. But a 10. Oh, these dice. This is what I'm talking about. All right, let's get a Charlie Victor injury dice. He's just going to be badly hurt. It doesn't do anything. It's just fun to roll. 
Okay, well, that actually went nicely. Now, I can chuck players in there, which is what I'm actually going to do now. I'm going to go uh, one, two, three, four into there. Goblin, one, two, three, four into there. Now, that puts a lot of pressure on frenzy players. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if we can't mob the big block guy. One, two, three. Leader in there as well. One, two, three. And then four to there. That does lead you with a guy in the backfield who's open for a blitz, but that's not bad. Don't like the rat ogre already. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Takes the rat ogre. I'll take the goblin block here. Yeah, with one guard support, it's just two dice there for the goblin. And take the push. To slip out to there. And follow, and no assists, still two dice. And Dodge Star is going to keep him alive. Oh, hello. Looks like a jolly good surfing there, unless you can take the Roger down. Which you probably can, to be fair. I'm going to take the block here, because that needs to be done. Okay, two dice on the goblin to push. Frenzy is going to mean you have to follow up and then take another two. Double skulls. Jeez. Is it leader reroll time? Leader reroll time. And another skull, oh, but with a pow. Do you know, I think that's the first double skulls we've had. Ooh. Six is okay for the armor on the goblin. Gonna take the blitz on the thrower. Okay. I was looking for your gutter there, I forgot he'd done it. You've already got him, yeah. <laughs> One, two. It's a close strength. There. Four against strength three, just two dice. Pow, star, drops him down. Go there, 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 actually. Over we go. That is going to be no go for the armor. I would have passed. Uh, but that does mean we can hit the now. Yep, so strength four, five with guard is just two dice. Oh, Ooh. those are some dice. That's two pals. There's the we want. Clears him away. Armor is fine on a six. Ooh. Not so bad option. Yeah, so I'll take the bad option of the dodge to there. Yeah, I think that's your best one. Three plus dodge is a five, gets it. Bootleg time, one into the open. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually six. Happy with that? Over to you. Um, okay. We are going to aggressively open the turn with a blitz from the roger on this guy here. Now, is he angry? He's okay. So you get one support, which still gives me two dice. And a... Oh, I need to push you, actually to there and follow. I'm going to take the push because I need him to be and now I need to power you on the frenzy block which I don't. So I can either drop you down now or follow up and take a 4 plus dodge into the open. Do I try two more dice to avoid that? That's going to be a 4 plus anyway isn't it? So well, blooming neck. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On a four plus dodge. By the sidelines, he's going to get jolly good blitzing. I don't want to murder things. 
We'll take the both down. I think we've uh, we've got time potentially. Armor's nothing. Uh, if I leave him there, he's gonna be a tempting multiple block, I think. But do I carry on moving with him, taking the bad dodge? Four plus dodge would basically. No, I think I think we have to leave him there. We'll stand up Mr. Tackle and at least stop a straightforward blitz in there. We'll bring this goblin up in the backfield. One, two, three, four into the open. Five, six, and then a rush to the ball carrier. Four. Oh, successful rush. I know, right? <laughs> um, then we will leave this goblin in, in place. We've got a goblin over here. We've got a leader man here. We're going to move leader man, one, two, three, four, into the open. And a simple three plus dodge, Ooh. five, six, uh, six, seven. That will hopefully, um, actually no, we'll go here. No, we won't go there. I don't think there's much I can do. We'll go there, because I think that's going to be the most annoying. And then we're going to have to move this goblin out to there, which is fine, probably. Three. One, two, three. <sighs> and then I think we go five, six to there just to try and protect the roger and that is probably going to do it turn three for the corn and it's getting pretty real uh, so at this point we play squish goblins so we're going to start with a block here okay strength four on two just two dice push uh, well uh, yeah a dodge star and a skull is fine and then you get to roll another two. Push and a dodge star. Uh, come back to him. Keep thinking that way. Uh, uh, We're going to hit the tackle man. Tackle man. Yeah. Just two dice for this guy. Block or push? I've got block. You've got block. Yeah, that Thought way. that might be the case. Going to use this as an opportunity to pin my guy against the sideline. Two more dice. Push. That puts Mr. Tackle in a bad situation on the sideline there. We're going to take the block here. Okay, two dice on the goblin. No block and a push. And do it again. How yes, gets him down. How? Seven is okay. Then we will take the blitz on the goblin. Okay, so they're tackled up. This is going to be a one die blitz. And it's a push, but with Frenzy, you're going to be able to follow up and then roll another one die blitz. There. Okay, so one more dice on the goblin, no skills. Mm -hmm. It is another push. Okay. Then we're going to try and dodge to there. Easy. Three plus into the open. It is a one, and he is That's down. Fine. My leader rerolls, so he's down he goes. All right, let's see if the ground, Ooh. the ground hungry for blood, and it's a stun. All right, got a potentially greedy play here. Now, I'm going to take a bad block. Uh, by dice. Uh, that was a pow as well. That's no good. All right, I'm going to move this goblin. One, two, three, four five six up to there now we're going to take two dice from the leader 
Now, no skills on either player here, but two dice, surely, will be okay. And we okay. get it okay. with a pow. Okay, so now I will put the ball there. I will follow up. Your gentleman goes down, and the red dice are still hungry Ooh. for blood. And the ground is still forgiving, so it is a stun for this dude. And then where are all the shiny, shiny dice? Thank you, Trips. Couldn't see the wood for the trees. Right, so from the guard boy is a six, which goes onto the goblin. Now, the goblin hasn't activated yet. It's a bouncing ball and a tackle zone. So we're looking for a five. This is an easy roll. He gets Ooh. a two promptly, and it bounces to eight. So from this guy, eight ends up right there. Right, that went remarkably well. Now I can take my greed play with a roger blitz on this guy. Oh no, I still can't do it, can I? I can't surf you. Uh, I can. I'm going to take a goblin dodge. One, two, three, four to there. Fails the dodge. Dodge reroll. Fails. I got Ooh. greedy and I've, I've cost myself. It's a seven. He's okay. Okay, it's reasonably simple this time. I shall roll him over. I shall roll him over so I don't forget. Um, we shall dispatch the blitzer. So two dice <sighs> on the sideline there. Yes, we just dispatch the blitzer. Then the rogue can follow him up. And he's gone. So we play tag the players off. And it's a KO for him yeah. as well. We will block the goblin. Okay, now let's do the maths. It is just a two die block. Push. And still uh, just two still two dice because of silly strength three and a pow there for Pow. him. Armor six is all right. Then we will blitz the thrower. Yep. So one, two. Okay, so you're going to get an assist from the blue block guy. The two dice here, it's double stars. Get some down. Get some down. I won't follow up. You do not get a choice. Oh, it's friendly. Of course. Yeah. Yes. And ten gets the armor. The thrower armor. could be gone. He's a KO oh, as fun. well. Three of the four positionals now for the Underworld team are off the pitch. And this is where your desperate measure does slightly scare me, so I will take the dodge to try and pick the ball. Dodge onto the ball, three plus, open field, it's a two, he goes down. Uh, the ground is all right at a five, and then we're going to need the special shiny dice here. So the ball scatters one woods. Ooh. Uh, yeah, into into a tackle zone. All right, we don't have a lot of players left, uh, so we are going to do we do a thing? We do a thing. We're going to stand the goblin up one, two, three in the backfield here, because we've still got our desperate measure. Four, five, six. Okay, let's make him a bit of a target now. The one thing we've been failing at all game is rolling rushes. And we're going to try and roll some now with a blitz from the roger on this guy. Angry roll is a five. One, two, three, four, five, six into there. And then for the first block, he yeah. gets it this time. This is going to be strength five on strength four. Trips. Two dice. Here's a push, push. And I think it's only fair. Off to the sideline we go. And then the rush again. Oh. Ooh. We get put it. His, put his running shoes on. In the Two more dice. Line. And we're going to power star you to the edge there. We'll drop you down. And with Mighty Blow, have no effect at all. And then... Oh, do we do it or do we just try and pick up the ball? We'll uh, hmm, we have to use the, the desperate measure, the dirty measure. One, two, three, four. 
That's some jolly good blitzing he's got in him there. We've got a plan. We've got a play. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to activate this goblin and go for a walk. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I think we don't need to take any rushes because that's going to affect the running lane to get to the ball carrier. Now we're going to activate this goblin on the ground to use the super duper throw action. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Three plus to pick up the ball. And it's a two. <laughs> I've got a team reroll. Oh, yeah. No, the leader's gone. Yeah, the leader's gone. The leader is gone. I don't get to use the reroll. And he fluffs the ball. So scatter the ball trips. Ball goes to four. Right in front of him. And that's going to be your turn five. I think that was my one window. Yeah, that was that was desperate, desperately a desperate measure. Exactly. Appropriate use. Three plus touchdown, basically, is what that was. So we will stand him up and uh, mark your rat ogre. Uh, we will stand the guard guy up. Mark my goblin. You can mark the goblin, but mark my words. The goblin will surprise you. Um, we've then got a range of bad options for trying to get the ball. <laughs> I just checked my watch to look at what turn it was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we will go for three, four. Oh, this is a blitz. You're blitzing, okay. Three, four, five. Six for the blitz onto oh, the right. goal. Now you've got Ooh. guard in there, so you're going to have enough. Actually, we will go three, four, five. There we go. I think he was on the six. Yeah. yeah. So three, four, five, six, and then a rush. A so. rush. Well, that's done brilliantly for us in this game so far. Oh, it's Ooh. a three. He gets it. Uh, yeah, strength three, four with guard is two dice. On the goblin, and it's a pow. You get him down. Big pow. Yeah, we'll actually go there. All right, I have to follow up due to being there. very angry. Armor is okay. Oh, armor eight plus has been the star of this game. Uh, then he will go there. That's another rush. Uh, I'm gonna take the rush. He takes the rush and he gets it. Yeah. Uh, stand him up for three, four, five. Six. Okay. Six to there. Yeah. Then we're going to try. Uh, no, we're going to move this guy first. One, two, three, four, five. To there. We'll try and pick up the ball. Yeah. Because what could go wrong? So three, four, five. Onto the ball. Three plus pick up. <laughs> I'm going to give you a cock die on that one, Trips, because he was all over the base. Into a one. <laughs> Into a one. He there drops it. It's a four on the bounce, which drops him north. And that's the turn. OK, uh, this goblin is going to die. <laughs> Terribly sorry, old bean. Uh, now we can get a roger block on this hat here. So really angry test. He's good. Yep. Now that's going to give me strength five against strength three, four, five. Because guard, that blooming guard piece. So it's going to be just a single dice. And that definitely is a definitely a cock dice. Oh, it's both down. I do have block, so it's... Not a problem, but I really did want to push him onto the ball. You wanted to bounce the ball. Yeah, <laughs> I thought we'd play roulette. Anyway, drops the guy down, and nine breaks the armor, and then a seven, eight with mighty blow gets him gone. <sighs> right, all right. Well, that's that's something. Now, I think we farm this goblin to his doom. One, two, three, 
bore into there to just put pressure on in quotation marks pressure would you not try over par uh well i've used my desperate measure so it would just be bad passing now which, which could be just horrific hmm. no i don't know I've, I've declared it it's gonna be fine i also can't remember where it was now we're gonna it's very tempting No, we've got time. Goblin, one, two, three, four, five, onto the ball, picks up the ball on a three plus. Mm. It's actually a four plus, four plus, but he gets the ball. Six to there on the dodge. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think, I think we take the rushes now. I think we take some rushes now. We go there. No, not against corn. We go there <laughs> for the rush. And you know what? We'll go there for the next rush. And the goblin has stolen the ball. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. And with all fairness, he's probably gone too. So quite simple now. We've got players over by the tide line, but frankly, they're out of the game. It's all about goblin squish. So we will take the block on the goblin <laughs> uh just two dice and a both down skull is going to end it oh, we can't do anything for like the corn team we said we'd not seen a double skull roll yet just the one goblin is fine and the ground no, punishes the corn boy it's a six we go now turn six to turn six and it is now can we ask would you like to try it and blitz it <laughs> would you like to try and block with uh, the there is <laughs> there is a really tempting rat ogre blitz here that i feel like milton would absolutely take but this is underworld and it's a time for a goblin to shine so, so the win one two three four five six it is a last turn goblin touchdown And there you have it, a 2-1 victory. I forgot to adjust the score on the full-time bit. You know it's 2-1. It's a 2-1 victory for the Underworld team. A last turn uh, Goblin touchdown. But if you'd scored, Trips, even turn five, the fact that all three of these positionals are in the, the, the knockout bin, the leader thrower, which hurt me on that Definitely pickup. Definitely hurt, yep. Hack phlegm. <laughs> yes. Although I think block is is very good with him. Yeah. Block, uh, block, and that two heads, and then Mr. Tackle, who's just a solid piece. Uh, just them being out. I think I got away with armor rolls hard in that game. It just seemed all you could roll was well threes and sevens. Yes. Yeah. Did, <laughs> uh, knocked a lot of goblins over. Didn't take them out. Um, and could have done with a stunned hero there just to slow you down um, and knocking out um, one of the uh, the big guys for me uh, you shouldn't need to rely on three strength four pieces but it's very nice to have three strength four pieces. they're so consistent now I, I got lucky with a few rolls and just that stress the, the kind of opportunity play and that's where teams like underworld really shine is if you can force rolls in sevens it's so much worse than elevens right because it, it's just if you can each turn set up a series of dice for your opponent to actually roll at some point it's going to fail in sevens um and that's just kind of how that game went i feel like the last quarter we had no one on the pitch like you got a guy out you got another, well he's in reserve isn't he he's just showing off now but this big guy being out and three of the positionals was just kind of and I think the desperate met well the desperate measure definitely changed for me how I played because oh. I was very aware that the ball going on the ground was likely to end up in a long pass, forgetting of course that goblins would <laughs> fail to pick up the ball <laughs> or been, dodge we've been or there rush. Before, right? Uh, yeah, at any point that desperate measure is basically a three plus touchdown as long as someone's yeah. in zone. And naturally we rolled a two. But um threat of activation, so good. That I would I mean that is probably, oh, I say the best one, the strength 
plus one. I think these one are the, the, the strength ones, really. And I think that one that would be amazing for a team where they couldn't pass. But yeah. any any high movement player or any any team that can pick the ball up with one piece, all of a sudden you are absolutely reliant and particularly in sevens when you end up with players all over the place oh they yeah get knocked off they get detailed. spread out you even called it i don't yeah. know if we were recording when you said it but you were like i'm so conscious that that rat ogre is just going to end up somewhere on his own and that automatic pass could just be a straight away rat ogre collection and yeah. touchdown um and you know what he did kind of end up on his own but movement six for this big guy oh, he he had it. There was nowhere safe. No, having had an appalling first half, where uh, he yeah, couldn't, couldn't run anywhere for fear of tripping over <laughs> his own tail. His own tail. Second half, he really, he really held his own. He, he cleared players. He moved them around, um, and he did what he needed a Ratoga to do, which is take at least two of the opponent's players. Yeah. Um, occupying at them all times. And despite how it looked, he didn't end up getting served. <laughs> um, down this side, I was very conscious. I was like, ah, oh, I think I even spent like, basically an entire turn's worth of activation just protecting uh, him. I put one guy on the ball <laughs> and four to protect the Ratoga. <laughs> which then got all of these guys murdered. Uh, but no, brilliant game trips. Uh, it's always terrifying playing against you, especially with corn. Yeah. Um, and yeah, great fun game. So thank you very much. That's right. Good game. And uh, on we go. Oh, so that was game nine of the season, which means we've got one more game for the regular season. And then it is the playoffs. And I think we'll probably see both of these teams again, which means we'll probably see trips again too. Right. Anyway, guys, we're going to wrap up. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back soon with more of our content. Happy blocking. Thanks very much for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you want to support the channel even further, please like and subscribe. It really does help us out. Or come join us on YouTube members or in Patreon, where you can get exclusive access to some content, some loot, early access to basically everything we do, as well as regular competitions. Or you can pick up some Bonehead Podcast loot either on our website at boneheadpodcast.com. We've got the Dungeon Bowl things. We've got tokens and stuff like that. Or on our Spreadshirt site as well. Everything you do just helps us make more content and hopefully do it of better quality. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Happy blocking. <laughs>